Welcome to this quick tour of the Interform 400 designer. The designer of Interform 400 looks like this. Uh, if you want to create a new overlay, you can click this icon. What you see down here in the bottom is the result. Let me just maximize that. You can see here immediately the output uh, that you're going to generate. On the left, you will see the list of the design elements that we can use for our design. So if, for instance, if we want to insert a line, we can take this element, drag along, let's say we want to have it this wide, and we can, for each element, now update the properties window here. Say, for instance, if I want it to be thicker, then I can do it like that. If I want to have a second line, I can also insert that, of course, and maybe change the, the width of that. Now I can, uh, for instance, disable the grid if I want to have total freedom in, in the way that I place the elements. If we want to insert an image, then we click the image element and click here where we want to insert it and we can select the image from the image list of the, the elements that we have installed uh, on the i-series. So we can select a color image for the color output and uh, to make the best result for black and white we can select a black and white image for that as well. We want of course also to merge the overlay with the spool file so in order to do that we can select the spool file from one of the output queues on the i-series. So we're now contacting the host, getting a list of all output queues, opening an output queue, select the spool file and click open. So it's copied onto the local PC and we immediately see the result of the merge between the spool file and this overlay. We can now divide the screen so at the top here we have the spool file and the bottom we have the final result. Uh, so perhaps I would like this address to be printed in a different font within a frame. So in order to do that I could now insert a frame like this, make it round, round corners, and now I would like to present this text inside of my uh, my frame, uh, but in a different font. So in order to do that, I click this remap element with the left mouse key, I drag the text in my spool file, and now I can click in the output to place it where I want. And for that element, I can now change the properties, for instance, change this to a nicer aerial, Arial 10, for instance, like this. And now I can move on to, oh, sorry. Now I can move on to uh, to uh, change the font of the remaining text, or I could also remap this. If I want to place it, for instance, up here. And uh, each time I'm remapping or inserting text, I can choose how to adjust it. So. I could choose to center, lift, or right adjust, and so on. But here we're just going with the left adjust, and now we could, for the remaining text, uh, select a different font. And one way uh, to do that uh, could be uh, actually with a general setting up here. So we can set the general font to use. So if we're changing this to another font, we can immediately see this the, the change. We can change this to a, for instance, a 13 to make it a little bit smaller. If we want to uh, verify how it would actually look in the final output, we can now choose to save our overlay. Save it as demo. 
and now we can actually preview the merged result for instance looking at the PDF result and here we go we can also verify how the PCL output would be so we're using a special application called SwiftView for this and with this I will suggest that you would perhaps look into the other videos showing how you can use Interform. Thank you.